Assalamu alaikum, graded computer science students. We will start now lesson number 9. This lesson is about keyboard. Let's start. So this is how a keyboard looks like. And you may have used it. Almost all computers have keyboard. And without keyboard, it's almost impossible to use computer. So what is a keyboard? The keyboard is an input device and what we mean by input device it means device that is used to enter something into the computer and uh, what we can enter into the computer text like a city name or country name or student name and numbers like you have uh, account number or school number or uh, any uh, phone number for example and symbols like sometimes you need to type symbols like percentage and at the red sign so you see here are symbols on the top and you can enter it instructions you can enter instructions uh, computer is not an intelligent device and you need to tell the computer what to do and how to do it Okay, so these things can be entered into the computer with keyboard. A keyboard have keys or buttons that when you press, that uh, symbol is entered into the keyboard. And if, if you carefully watch here, the top row is Q W E R T Y, and this is sometimes called a QWERTY. So the standard keyboard is also called QWERTY keyboard so what are the uses or applications of keyboard you can enter data about customers or students or sales you can uh, type reports with the help of keyboard you can type commands on a command line interface Advantages uh, if we have keyboard, so what are the advantages? Uh, first advantage is it's familiar method of data entry, so you don't need the people to train or tell them how you, how to type. If you compare with the on-screen keyboard, like you are typing something with your smartphone or tablet, then keyboard is much better way to type as compared to the on-screen keyboard. It's easy to use, no special training is required and if you may have noticed that it has a lot of keys, uh, so it's easy to type. Disadvantages of keyboard. Typing errors can occur. If you do not have proper training, if you do not know how to type, then errors can be there. And for example, you want to try it at faster speed, then you will get more errors. Typing is time consuming if detailed information is needed. Sometimes you need to type a lot of things. So in that case, the typing is not faster. It will take time. And if you want to type fast, you need proper training. Boys, I have prepared other lessons about typing and I have shared a link with you uh, for typing practice it's very important that you practice on that links typing for longer time can result in wrist and hand pain if you type for longer time so you, you, you can have a pain and you rest in hand so uh, it's advice you take proper break after each 20 minutes and uh, you take some stretches that will, uh, that will reduce your pain and the rest in hand. Important keys of the keyboard. This is very very important picture and you, uh, you have to know these keys by name. You will use the keyboard throughout your life and it's very important that you know the keys. So, uh, this is escape key, this top row are function keys. You have enter key here, 
this is backspace delete key here print screen scroll and you have this number keypad arrow keys here shift key and windows key and alt and space bar and caps lock here is a home task you need to do what you have to memorize the location of the important keys and it's better if you can you can print this page and just remove the names from here and you try to write the names of these keys so uh, this is your home task you try to print this from here till here and just remove this and you try to write it yourself R try to write the names yourself and this is your home task you have any question uh, regarding this lesson or the previous lesson you can write on the whatsapp and i will try to answer it this concludes our lesson thank you